Welcome to Hatfield Elementary News Program. I'm news anchor Bennett. And I'm news anchor Chris. Today we have special news items that we want to share with our listeners. Hatfield resident and author Jane Yolen had just published her 366th book. We asked the Hatfield community to share with us what a significant milestone this is to them. Congrats, Jane, on publishing 365 books. You did a great job. <laughs> we just wanted to say that you're a great writer, and writing's a hard thing to master, so you are crushing it. Unbelievable. Great job. Wow. No, no, no. We were supposed to say, hey, Jane, you always amazing job on your 365 books, and then do this. <laughs> hey, Jane Yolen, congratulations, congratulations on your 365 books. Woo! <laughs> Great job, Jane <laughs> It's awesome job. 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 <laughs> Awesome job <laughs> That's on um, 365 books. There we go. Yeah, okay. okay. Hey, I'm in it, and I'm here to say I love your books in any way. And your dinosaur books, too. And you should write some more after this. Rap! Congratulations! Work so hard to write 365 books. We always want to give you a vacation. Instead, we'll give you a celebration. Celebration. One, two, three, four, five. Congratulations. Everybody here agrees with us. We always want to give you a vacation. Instead, we'll give you a celebration. Celebration. Jane Holland! Peace. Peace! Wow, Christopher, that seems like a great big deal to Hatfield. Yes, Bennett, it does, but that is not all. Let's go live to our second grade friends. They are on an actual field trip to Jane Yolen's porch. They're at Jane Yolen's porch right now? Yes, they read a book, A Bear Sat on My Porch, today, and have a message for Mrs. Yolen. Let's go live. That was very inspiring, Christopher, but I also heard that the preschool has a message for us also. Those preschoolers are so cute. Let me show you a clip of our first graders sharing their favorite Jane Yolen book. Um, how do dinosaurs say goodnight? And why do you like that story? Because it is a really funny story and I like how it's fiction and it really it has really good pictures. Okay. My favorite Jane Yolen song is How Do Dinosaurs Go to School? And why do you like that one? Because I like dinosaurs and I like school. Um, a bear sat on my porch today. And why do you like that? Because it's really funny and it has different kinds of animals and it has really nice pictures and color. The box book. And why do you like that? Because I told you to a box. And who else likes that story? A lot of people. 
if there was a story. Why do you like that one? Because it has a lot of my favorite stories in it. Nice. And now we've caught up with some fourth and fifth graders in their very busy day and see what they have to say. Here we are taking time off of our jobs to congratulate you for your writing your 365th book. Take 97. We're going to take time off of baseball to congratulate you on 365 books. Just the best thing to have you come to our school every single year, have, us, have you read all of our writing and judge it and all that stuff, and to see it from a professional writer is awesome. We'd like to talk about Jane Yellen's book, Beneath the Ghost Moon. I'm Brian, along with Matthew and Georgia. We like Jane Yellen's book because the mice never gave up and they still had their party. What do you have to say about Jane Yellen's dinosaur books? They are one of my personal favorites. I like them because they're funny and funny books are my favorite. We love to read all your books a million times. You are so generous to let us show you our stories. My favorite book was How Do Dinosaurs Get to School because it taught what's right and what's wrong in school. My favorite book is Owl, is Owl Moon because I, will, I can relate. I went owling before. Overall, we think your books are amazing and creative. Thank you especially, especially to you, you Jane, Jane Owen. Owen. Boom. Jane Yellen, you write a book, and you're leaving all the haters shook. Write a novel like it's nothing, probably as good as chicken and stuff, and when you finish that text, they don't know what's coming next, because the theme cannot be guessed. Boom. She said, do you write books? Jane told her, yes, I write books, but I only write them for people to smile. 366 books in a couple of years. Yeah, she write, and 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 for us. She makes sure the north side read, yeah, wait. She makes sure the south side read, yeah, wait. And still. We did that again. We love your books and keep, make, and keep making them genuine. And lastly, we'd like to share a retrospective slideshow from previous Jane Yolen winners. So sit back and enjoy. the lower 40 with a vengeance then she shifts an ocean waves a tidal high there are folk who swear when allosaurus who loves building shaken faint hearts break and walls fall down she's a number even raked her skills can't measure sun be careful when Ms. A comes into town don't stand here whenever allosaurus who loves if you You're on the dance floor when she hulas, then your chances for survival are real slim. There are folk who swear when Allosaurus hulas, building shaking, faint hearts break, and walls fall down. She's a number, even wrecked, her scales can't measure. Sun The lower 40 with a vengeance Then she shifts in ocean waves a tidal high There are folk who swear when Allosaurus who loves Building shaking flame that's break and walls fall down She's a number even wrecked the scales can't measure Sun be careful when Ms. A comes into town Sun be careful when Ms. A comes into town Sun 